Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video explaining on how to create a lemon juice battery and uh, going in depth about uh, how batteries work. So what you're going to need to use to build your battery is some copper wire to use as an electrode or conductor so that the electricity flows through the battery, uh, some galvanized nails to use as an anode, and also a material that will shed electrons so that the battery will actually have some electricity in it. Uh, some lemon juice to use as the acidic solution so that electrolysis actually occurs. And uh, a nice cube tray to actually contain the battery. Alright, now that I have your materials, you're going to cut as many... Uh, th roughly three inch long strands of copper wire as you need. Count how many holes you're going to use in your ice cube tray for your battery. That's how many strands of copper wire you're going to need to use. Next you're going to want to grab your galvanized nails and you're going to want to uh, snap it into smaller rectangles that will fit into your ice cube container. You will need to use as many galvanized nail rectangles as copper wire strands. Next, fill your ice cube tray with lemon juice. I already made my battery before making this video, so just pretend that this water is lemon juice. Take one galvanized nail rectangle and one strand of copper wire. Wrap the copper wire around the galvanized nail rectangle until it is tightly uh, wrapped around. Make sure that you wrap it uh, higher than I did so that the copper wrapped around uh, the galvanized nail isn't touching the lemon juice. Bend the copper that's sticking out from the galvanized nail uh, into a somewhat 90 degree angle and uh, place it into the ice cube tray so that the galvanized nail is inside of one hole and that the copper wire is dipping into another one. Repeat this process until you filled your entire ice cube tray with a chain of these battery cells. Once you're all done, add another loose piece of copper exiting the ice cube tray so that you now have a completed battery. Alright, time to explain a little more about the battery itself and how it works. So earlier in the video, I said that uh, you built a cell. So every hole in your ice cube tray is a cell. A cell is made out of three things. An anode, a cathode, and an electrolyte. An electrolyte is a compound which sheds electrons when placed in a solution. In this experiment, lemon juice was used as an electrolyte. An anode is where the electricity enters the battery and a cathode is where the electricity exits the battery. In this experiment, the chemical reaction between the zinc in the galvanized nails and the lemon juice creates some uh, excess electrons and those electrons go through uh, the copper wire or the electrode to stack upon the electricity from the other cells. All this is what makes up a battery, which is a container consisting of one or more cells in which chemical energy is converted into electricity and used as a source of power. Allow me to show you how my homemade battery turned out. Here you can see that I hooked up the, voltom the voltometer, voltometer, I have no idea how you say it, uh, to my homemade battery, and I got four and a half volts off of this thing. That's enough electricity to light up a simple LED. Here I hooked up an LED to a completed circuit with an on and off switch. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.